Alrighty, guys. It is Monday the 13th of June. I'm going to be tackling Alexander Salamander by Hank is Me. <clears throat> Looks like, at least in some part, is an ice map. So we'll see if that uh, does anything. See if I can actually do well on it. Once the map actually loads. We downloaded a whole bunch and now the load now we're still on a loading screen. There we go. Let's get it going then. Uh okay, I have to be like extremely close to the inside. Oh! I did not see the ramp. There was a massive arrow pointing to it, but I did not see it. a very specific setup. Oh, oh my god. No. I have fallen. Don't hit the dude, I'm gonna keep missing the pole. going. I'm gonna accept hitting that wall and just continue on the run so I can figure out how the rest of the map works. Me running into that didn't actually slow me down all that much. Oh my god, we gotta go up. And then we have the risky finish, which is a ramp. Or the not risky finish, which is just go up the hill. Okay. Let's see if I can actually achieve that risky finish. To be fair, I didn't have a line that would have actually made that risky finish in any capacity, so the reason why I'm currently feeling like I have no idea how to hit that risky finish makes sense, but still. I gotta be careful with losing the gear there. I lost the gear the first time, and I don't think I had such a bad entry, so I feel like losing a gear there is still very possible. Camera feels so high up. The simple solution is just use the alternate cam one is this one. This is really close down. Like my brain has gotten used to this height for cameras, as far as cameras are concerned. And so this is too low and this is too high. So let me lower cam one a little bit. I need to be, I don't even understand this first drift yet. Like how I'm gonna get it like fully fast. I mean, I could just watch the GPS. That's a solution. But I'm gonna first continue to do it this way. I don't know, dude. I slammed into the wall in my first turn, in my first time, but I don't even think I did that badly on the turn. And the follow-up worked well as well. Okay, that... That... Pylon thing... was placed there deliberately. There's a reason it's there. I can smell it. Mainly because... It seems to be in the perfect spot to get hit. Be 
really close to the inside on this one. Return Titans. I didn't make it. And because I was too close to the inside, but that's basically the end, so. All in all, it's not that long of a trick. Some interesting elements that make it tricky. Tight. Okay, and two actually too tight. A lot more speed. Let's see if we can get this risky for me. Okay, I'm gonna continue. Oh, okay, that's not an easy risky finish, or at least with the line that I had, I, it was not a risky finish. You can get it a lot. I think that risky finish depends a lot on how you're approaching it from the start of the ice drift. I think once I have an idea of what a good approach looks like, it won't be that bad. But for now, when I don't know what a good approach is, I kind of have to just make it up on the fly. Please. I beg of you, just let me turn around. I'm like so close, that like, I'm just way on the inside there. Too much slow down there. Eight seconds of improvement, let's go. Yeah, I need to be I need to why I need to tighten up that drift. The reason I'm missing the ramp is because I'm literally just going too far. I tend to have that problem with these ice track tracks. Or just ice in general. A lot of the time being like right on the inside is what you want. And I tend to end up in lines that aren't that. There's that gear problem that I knew would still be around, just lurking in the shadows. That was a weird one, but it didn't end too poorly. Dang it. I fell off. I, I clipped the corner. I'm trying to tighten the ice drift and it's not going the best. I've completed the track. I know how it's done. I haven't completed the track yet, not because I haven't made it to the finish, 
well, that's actually the real reason why I haven't completed it, because I haven't made it to the finish, but, like, I could go in the risky finish all these times, but, or I could go in the safe finish all these times, but I'm not, I'm committed now. I'm getting into this risky finish. That's in. Though I did crash into the finish bar, it's in. Huge improvements right off the bat. You know, the map creator had the option of putting the finish bar on the left side of the track or the right side of the track. I kind of feel like it may have been done on purpose that it's on the left side of the track. Because then you can hit it. If not, you could kind of... You could do the exact line that I did, and you wouldn't get punished for going a little too, uh, uh, too far to the, uh, the left. The risky finish is made a little bit more riskier just from the fact that he chose, like, the left finish rather than the right finish. Yet again, I have to try and get this turn down. Just hit that pylon. When in doubt, use the pylon to help you. There we go. I lost a gear. Oh, and I lost another... Because I lost the first gear, it was kind of bound to happen that a maybe well-thought-out ice map with gears has has uh, become problematic. Oh, stop. I need to stop landing on that wall. Made it into the finish without crashing into the post. Okay. My rank's still a little bit lower than normal, so I'm clearly... There's still a lot of improvement to be made. Which is usually the case on ice. But hopefully I can find that here. like I don't understand that uphill. Let me, I'm gonna now that I have like an okay time, I feel, I'm gonna hit the GPS and see what it has to offer. A lot of let ups right there. Stays very tight. And you jump into an ice drift, okay. That's kind of what I expected. Huge let up. I feel like that's not what you want. I'm not an ice expert, but that just feels wrong. Okay. That's a huge let up. Not staying close to the inside, but you know, I can maybe try and bring it back. Uh, the answer was I couldn't, but you know, I could try, and I did. And he stays in the drift for quite a while to be way over here. 
we can get in a nice tight drift here. Touching the snow. Oh god. I love how the way that he's done it, the contrast on those two signs make them look like they're just completely in darkness. Like there's... You put them very much in shadow so that it looks like completely black. And then just with like two signs floating in the middle of the void. Oh, I saved the screenshot. Another screenshot to add to the collage. Okay, you want to land. I'm trying to think, you want to land definitely in a in a nice drift there, but you don't want to. You don't want to be steering in that. You don't want to be steering for the ice drift until you like the second you land. Because then you actually get the ice drift the second you land. Otherwise, holding the steering button. The earlier you hold the steering button for the ice drift, the worse it actually ends up for you. Because you're stopping your rotation in the direction that you need to be rotating. And so you'll have to like correct the drift. up too much. I let up too much because my brain is like, you need to be on the inside, on the outside of the, of this checkpoint to have a good setup for the risky finish, though I don't know how necessary that is. It's just how I've felt it out so far. Okay, you definitely want to start steering early to slow down your rotation, but not stop it. Oh god, please. Okay. That was not a good run. Oh my god. It's a very tricky first set of corners. Especially that weird, like, rate. Basically, a, a one level increase. We're going up by one block. <laughs> but first, we're going up on the left side, and then we're going up on the right side. It's because we have to do such a weird. angled transition one at a time makes the whole thing a bit weird. Okay. I made it in a risky finish, though it wasn't great. And it was not an improvement. Don't want to let that let that ice drift go early. Please, I'm just so little speed. You know, as much as I'm like. Oh, that was a huge let up. I feel like that's not what we want. Maybe, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna reluctantly give it a try and be in pain the entire time I'm holding 
I'm not holding the W key, even though it may be the faster option, unfortunately. Oh. I just took another screenshot, but that time it was on purpose. I noticed that I was, or maybe <laughs> it wasn't necessary, but I had noticed that I was, uh, because I took the first screenshot initially, I noticed that I had, uh, uh, sound, I had muted the sound on my team speak. Now, honestly, I should have left it like that, because if anybody decided to join the AFK channel for my team speak while I was recording, even though TeamSpeak is great, it has a button that says AFK or away, depending on what version of TeamSpeak you're using and what skin of TeamSpeak you're using. Honestly, it depends on a lot. But, you know, you set away or AFK, and then people using TeamSpeak can see that and go, oh, he's not at his computer. When I mean, oh, secretly, I am. It's basically a different mute button that tells the person, that tells other people on the server that you're not at your computer and I use it as it's supposed to be used to indicate when I'm not at my computer except for when I'm recording <laughs> but to get on the point that it was I mean, it's basically a glorified mute button you can still hear while AFK only in, the only thing it does is mute your microphone but means that I should have left the, uh, it means that I should have left the, uh, the sound disabled for the time being because, uh, if someone happened to join my AFK channel, they would have been able to just say whatever they wanted. We talk, we talk about how I was able to, I derailed that converse, that, that, that thought in my brain for a long time, I, 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 we took three detours to get to a point, and then I had to drive backwards through the detours to find the original reason why I brought up the conversation. Let's not try and go through that many detours. is very slow. If you can't be that fast, I mean, my PB can't be that fast. I hooked my wheel on the inside of a corner. The fact that I got an author medal from that run is kind of unfortunate. It's like, hey, look, you did the best, but honestly, that just means the mapper did a good job at making a difficult but achievable locker medal for most people. Not like any, <laughs> unless you're the best in the world, uh, most author medals are difficult but achievable to someone, but... When I say difficult but achievable, I'm talking about the general person playing the game. I'm considering what I would believe to be the case, which is that the general populace is worse at ice than any of the other surfaces. Having a reasonably easy author medal is a good thing. That was a good run. 0.5 improved. Huge. Huge, huge. Oh, my, my leg is cramping. There we go. I've adjusted my leg so that it's not in pain while I sit.
The only thing is, it wasn't in pain until after that run where I moved it, and then it, <laughs> and then I was like, I, my brain had decided to move my leg. What did it do? It moved it into a position where it hurt. Thanks, brain. Definitely what I wanted. I wanted to be uncomfortable sitting in my chair. Sure, yeah, that's not fast. No, certainly not fast. wide, but that's fine. Oh, now it's not. When I do that jump, I actually tighten the drift. Like, the landing tightens the drift, and there's not much I can do about it, so I have to kind of jump wide with the anticipation that the landing will be tightened by ice physics. How do they work? They're kind of like magnets. Nobody really knows how they, how they work. We all just kind of assume it's magic. I have way more speed, but can I capitalize on it? The answer is, looks like no. All right, well, you know, I'll finish the, I'll actually go into the finish line. Here we go, did it. I went into the finish line. geared. I don't know if that's the right reaction. It's the reaction I've always, it's like, that I've developed in muscle memory. But the best way to recover out of a gear, like a bad, like a gear down in, on, on ice, because you always, because you just slide out whenever you do that, whenever you gear down on ice. So like, how do I, what's the best reaction to have? when you're headed, when, you know, your trajectory is no longer a turn, but instead a straight line. And what's the best way to get back in some sort of ice drift to recover? My muscle memory is to just hold, hold the, the, hold the angle as if I'm still in the ice turn and just hold brake. Because sometimes the gear will fix itself if I hold brake. Or at least that's what I had found. Maybe it's not the case, but you know. It be how I do sometimes, question mark? up as soon as I left the ground and because of it ooh, I touched without actually getting affected by it because of it I failed well it's looking like we've hit the end the time the timer on my recording software says it says about 30 minutes definitely doesn't say about 30 minutes but it says an exact time of recording but that time of recording is about 30 minutes <laughs> So I will see you all tomorrow. We will do whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Until then, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you all later.